Continue working on your scene. If you need to, you can also use the file UV Unwrapping Garage Roof Max to pick up where the last movie left off. Make sure the building model is selected and isolated. You need to unwrap the upper floor and the roof. Start by selecting the front facade and the undercarriage portion of the extruded part. Apply an automatic planar map and then adjust the cluster in the UV editor. Use the freeform tool as you have learned. Switch between poly, edge and vertex modes to fit the UV coordinates to the bitmap. When you're happy with the results, select the cluster and move it to the side by one UV space. Next, select and treat each wall separately, using X or Y projections as needed. Remember that the projections are positive left to right and front to back so make sure you use the mirror tool where needed. When you're down to the roof, select the center polygon and expand the selection all the way to the lip around the roof's edge. Set it with a projection map from top, on the Z-axis. You may elect to rotate the cluster 90 degrees so that the long edge of the roof coincides with the long edge of the corresponding bitmap area. The lip around the edge is running parallel to the projection. It probably won't show much distortion because of the nature of the white pixels, but let's be thorough just the same. With the roof polygon selected, click the Shrink button to remove the lip from the selection. Now scale the cluster to a center point by using Ctrl-Alt. Switch to Vertex mode and make the necessary adjustments.
When you're done, select the cluster and move it to the right by one UV space. Repeat the procedure for the other roof. When you're done and all the clusters are properly set, you want to select them all and pack them into the checkered UV space. Simply select all the clusters and move them back by one negative minus one UV space. Exit Subobject Mode and the Isolate tool. You have now unwrapped the building model. In the next movie, you start working on the car.